A lot of you guys ask how you can work into being able to do the splits. Being able to do the splits is a pretty cool thing. I get that people want to be able to do it. I want to show you a few cool things you can do to, to get there. Two moves on the floor, and then we're going to move to a wall. And I'm going to show you two things you can do over there. So the splits, um, there's two different types. The side splits this way, and um, the traditional way, this way. So the side splits, if you start on your butt, this is a good way to do this, feet, um, toes facing the ceiling. Your body's naturally going to want to sink back this way if there's tension in the hips. All you're going to do is use your hands and try to come forward. So you're just breathing. You can relax your feet to the floor if that feels good. Just try to bring your body forward as opposed to letting your pelvis uh, rotate back. So you're coming forward this way. Over time, as you become more and more flexible, more open, you're going to be able to bring your uh, chest down towards the floor. So this is where we're going eventually. And then eventually hands or arms out here. You may eventually even be able to come forward more so that you fully can rotate. That's pretty extreme, but that's where we're going with that eventually. So you can eventually use your hands as well to just kind of work yourself down. Whatever you can do, feel it out. Um, but main thing, I'm just going to show you this from the side. Just watching this. So your body will want to go this way. And again, all you're doing to start to really open your hips so that you're going to be able to do this is um, you're just bringing yourself forward this way, chest towards the floor. Okay? So that's the first thing. For the other splits, the traditional splits, you start in a dragon lunge. I believe I showed, uh, showed you this in a, in a past video. So you start in a dragon lunge, and then as you can, as you feel comfortable, you just start to creep your right foot forward, if you're on the right side. Eventually, you might wind up somewhere like this, and then you're using your hands. If you let go, it might be too much. So, Keeping uh, in control by using your body weight, your, your, um, your, the strength in your hands, the strength in your arms to support your body weight. Eventually, you'll be able to, to lower right, uh, right down. Again, it's going to take time. You have to be consistent. Any yoga practices like that, you have to do, um, to do this often to really open and to really create change. So consistency. Um, over time and you'll and you'll get there you'll get the result you're looking for so that's how you do um, work into the splits on the floor I've got a couple tricks for you over at the wall so any flat wall will do first way again for the, the side splits all you'll do is bring your butt to the uh, base of the wall bring your legs straight up the wall and then from here, you just let your upper body relax in any way that feels good. And you're simply going to let your heels start to move towards the floor, all right? You'll start to feel some tension, some uh, stretching sensation in the inner thigh, in the groin area. And then eventually, and actually even if you stay here for two or three minutes, Things will start to open up more and you'll notice that your feet are moving down more. Don't stay here too long, especially if you're at home by yourself because you could get stuck and it's going to get really intense. Um, but indeed, the longer you stay, the more results. So just make sure if you can, you have somebody there to help you they can kind of slowly pull you back off of the wall when you're done. Eventually what's going to happen here is you'll open up so much that your feet will come all the way down towards the floor, and then you're really going to feel something happening. For the other splits again, bring your hands to the floor. This one is really good. Bring your right foot or your right leg up behind you. Start fairly um, extended through the upper body, through the arms, and then as much as you can, just drop your head and start to walk your hands towards your left foot. 
Eventually you can drop your forehead and you'll have pushed your, your self right into a standing split. So you might start somewhere like this and just slowly, keeping your hips fairly square, try not to turn out, use your hands. You might be here for a while, no problem. You're going to feel this in the underside of the left leg, so you're going to feel this in your left hamstring. You're going to feel this in the right hip. And you're just walking yourself in here. And then, simply, repeating, of course, on the other side. And I'm just going to do it here quickly so that I don't end up walking funny for the rest of the day. Just evening it out. This is a really good way. And you don't have to worry about rushing or, uh, or uh, like falling into the posture too quickly like you might if you were doing it on the floor. You have your hands here. You're in total control of, again, the degree of stretch that you're creating for yourself. So that's how you do that. 